G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I'm going to show you how to cook corned beef, or silver side as it's also known. Now corned beef or silver side is the most delicious dinner you can ever make. And not only is it great tasting, it's so easy to make. It's like the easiest thing to ever, ever make, ever. Did I just say ever enough times then? This is Greg's kitchen where the food is finger licking. Right, well all you're going to need for this recipe is some corned beef. Now that's all you need really, but if you want it to taste really good, here's a few things that you should throw into the water when you're boiling this corned beef. Some vinegar, about half a cup. Some bay leaves, about that many. Some cloves, some peppercorns, and some sugar. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take this out of the plastic and wash this big thick piece of meat. Ooh, yes. And I'm just gonna stick this into a nice deep saucepan into which I'm going to put the bay leaves, the cloves, the peppercorns, a couple of teaspoons of sugar, and I'm gonna put about half a cup of the vinegar of your choice. We are then gonna add some cold water. We're just gonna add it so it just covers the corned beef. Now we're gonna put on the stove and bring that to the boil. Okay, once that's started boiling, reduce the heat to a simmer and we're going to cook that for about two to four hours. Might just put the lid back on. Now two hours is all you need to cook a nice corned beef silver side. But you can cook it for about four hours. In fact, my mum was telling me about one of her friends who's got Alzheimer's. She'd left it on the stove all day and all night and just totally forgot about it. She went around there for dinner that night, the following night, for corned beef, she said it was the best she'd ever had. Okay, well it's two hours later and let's just take a look at this. As you can see, it's looking pretty nice. Now a good way to test to see if it's ready is if you can push a fork in and it goes in easily, then that's ready. Now I could take that out now and eat it, not a problem. But I'm gonna cook mine a little bit longer. And I'm not just gonna have it on its own, I'm gonna add some veggies to it. So I cut up some potato, some onions, some celery and some carrot. And what I'm gonna do, with an hour to go, cause all this will take about an hour to cook, is just put this into the pot. And all over the wall. Get these bits that fell out, put those in. <laughs> so now what I'll do is I'll give that another hour on simmer. And by that stage, the potato and all the other vegetables should be nice and cooked. And I'm gonna have the best dinner ever. Okay, well that's the three hours up. Check out, check out what the onion's done. How trendy is that? So now I'll just get the meat out. Transfer it here to this cutting board. I'll just cut a bit off, just to make sure it tastes great. Oh, look at this. Look how that's just flaking away, it's so tender. Right, well, oh, yum, yum, yum. Let's see how good this tastes. Mm. Mm. Oh, so tender, so delicious. Corned beef, silver side, my favorite meat ever. It's especially good served cold. Oh, can't wait for tomorrow. Actually, I can't wait for tonight's dinner. Okay, I'm gonna carve some up, plate some up, and I'm gonna add some white sauce over those vegetables, and also over the corned beef. Yum o! Well, there's my dinner tonight. It looks fantastic and it's gonna taste just as good, I know it. So give corned beef a go. It's really, really, really easy to make and it's well worth it. It tastes fantastic. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the food is finger -lit.